Good morning and welcome to um, this is the second video blog that I've done. Um, I've already done a, um, a, a blog which I wrote earlier on this morning and um, I've got an email from uh, Mike Brotherton, the Reverend Mike Brotherton Royal Navy, who's just recently retired from uh, 25 years service as a, uh, a padre um, in, the chaplain, in the Navy Chaplain's Department. And he of course gave the, uh, the sermon and the reading at Right of the Wall just recently. He's also been a, um, an Armed Forces Scooter Club member uh, right from the beginning in the early phases and uh, he was instrumental in setting up the, the cheesy hammy eggy and um, the, uh, the British Forces Scooter Club which of course was set up originally by um, Stomper from, um, from Plymouth who was a, a serving member of the Royal Navy. Sadly there were about 270 members of the um, original club and there's only about five or six maybe 12 tops um, I'm just thinking about Yorkie Stout, uh, who's just got out of the Royal Navy, and of course um, Gary McLaughlin, who um, both of these two were original founding members of the uh, of the uh, of the military club, which was um, going to be evolve and become the Armed Forces Scooter Club. Um, I've got a an email, like I said, from uh, Mike Brotherton. He was really, really impressed with um, the club and he sends his fondness regards and wishes from his mother, um, who was absolutely blown away by us. She's 81 years old and quite frail and um, he was looking after his mum. Uh, he's a fantastic guy um, and it was just absolutely superb to see him. It's the first time I've ever met him. I feel as if I do know him um, because our paths have crossed and uh, we, we've never actually met but um, he's back now and uh, he says to me in his um, email that he's really looking forward to next year's thrash he hopes that he can get there and he wants to bring all three of his scooters which are quite iconic of the day um, from the early 80s and um, in November he's going to send me his um, his two scrapbooks and um, a small piece of the the history of the um, British Forces Scooter Club and the Cheesy Hammy Eggy um, so that I can put those electronically onto uh, onto the website. I'm looking forward to doing that. It's going to be a labour of love because there's quite a lot of it to do. Um, I blogged this morning about the um, disparity between the bikers and the, and, uh, the Armed Forces Scooter Club um, I think that we were the only scooterists there um, this this weekend. Uh, sorry, the the, the Drake Manor weekend. Um, it it was really really odd, and I'm trying to get my head around why there are so why there were such um, differences between us both. They were very welcoming and very warm and friendly, and I think that was quite genuine. And um, I don't think I'd be confused if we'd have turned up on a field um, completely surrounded by. Um, civilians or non-ex-military people, um, but but we weren't. We were we were surrounded by. I would hazard a guess that there was about eighty percent of them were um, had had military service. Yet um, sometimes they were looking at us as if we were from another planet, and I don't think that was anything to do with the scooters. I just don't think that they were. I don't think they easily let their hair down for whatever reason. I'm trying to get my head around it. The only thing, thing that I can come up with in my own mind is that um, is although in the scootering fraternity we might have lots of different layers, we're only separated by a very small cigarette paper. Um, our shared commonality is that is the journey, uh, the music, and um, and the culture. Um, I don't think the bikers share that. I think that their um, their layers are separated by chasms, um, you know, like the Honda Goldwing and the Harley Davidson, for instance. They're both big, massive touring bikes, and yet they don't seem to have any um, affinity to each other apart from when they're on two wheels and they've got the helmets on. I think the problem is when they take the helmets off. They stand there. They realise that they they don't share any commonality. That there's no musical theme. They've got no soundtrack to themselves. Um, I'm not saying that we're all about quadrophenia, etc. But um, 
you know, there the, 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 the seems to be a, um, a definite oil and water um, separation um, on the bikers. Uh, you've also got the MC and the MCCs, and I think that, although it pains me to say it, I think with some of us, most of us, have probably got more in common with those. Yet their differences, the big differences, um, are very different to us. And I don't want to, uh, well, I'm not rubbing shoulders with these people, but I think it will be, um, it, it, it will be unhealthy to get in bed with them um, because of their, uh, their, the way that they operate. But going back to Drayton Manor, there were a few people, um, a few of the bikers who really, really wanted to be part of us. Um, the Belgique guys, they seem to be um, a little bit like us as as uh, as far as they were in a, a small group um, plopped in the middle of this field. Um, and they seem to be on their own a little bit. Um, what I did find amusing was um, those bikers that really wanted to be with us wanted and desperately, desperately wanted to be part of us. And they very, very enjoyed their um, sharing the company with us, especially on the Friday and the Saturday evening. And I think that's a that's a good testament to the club. Um, and I think it's a I think our tolerance and our our respect that we have for people yet yeah, we're very tight um, in a good way. Um, I'm ho I hope I would hate to think I'd be crucified um, to think that it would become a clique. Um, I think that we're as tight as a, any military unit that I've ever seen before. Um, but I think that we're very welcoming and very tolerant, um, which I think that's a, that's a good thing. That's a, that, that is a good thing. Um, I think you've all been saved by the bell now. My phone's ringing, so I'll uh, I'll sign off and I'll um, I'll block again.